Good morning everyone. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. The best thing I ever did was decided not to announce the day of Vlogmas every time I started a vlog because I don't know where we're up to. I really don't. I'm just going to make my coffee before we start work. Nothing exciting, just a regular instant coffee. No aesthetics. <laughs> it's just boil the water. I might find my Santa mug though. That will be the aesthetic. Where is he? I'm back. Just had to wash him. He wasn't clean. No one set the dishwasher off yesterday. That no one being me. I love this mug. The only thing I don't like is the lip. Like it's got a really thick lip. And I don't know, I feel like <laughs> maybe it's just me being old. I feel like it dribbles out when I'm trying to drink it. Like I just prefer a regular, you know, smooth, flat lip rather than these chunky ones. But I just love this mug because it's a big mug. I love big mugs. And because it's Santa, obviously. But yeah. Here is my mundane life. This is the coffee I'm using currently. I'm not really fussed about the coffee, like as far as what brand or whatever. This is just the Aldi one. I think Michael said it's about a fraction of the price of the regular Nescafe stuff and it tastes the same. So I'll go, yeah, why not? I think my favorite, favorite coffee of all is the Robert Tim's Mocha Kenya in the coffee bags. Love that one. And I used to get it all the time, but then since I've gone on to this cheap one, that really care. doesn't make a difference to me. All right, let's try and get some aesthetic shots of me pouring the water into the Christmas coffee mug. Which way? This way. Ooh, ah. Uh. Oh, so aesthetic. And I'll get my little shot of cream. Oh, I have to show you just how nice my fridge looks at the moment. It's all pristine clean, filled with lots of healthy snacks and foods. All my yogurts, all my berries there. Got the milk in there. That's all like the dairy kind of section. Then we've got all the cheeses and butters in there we've got our staple bacon and eggs just put the spinach there because all the other drawers were chock-a-block full have a look at that full of fruit and veg fruit and veg that i'm able to eat i might stick that lettuce in there so it doesn't squash my pictures before i can eat them and then that's all <laughs> roll these carrots and that's our cucumbers that I picked from the garden I don't know because that they were going soft really really quickly and I um I googled it and it said to wrap them in paper towel like wet paper towel and put them in your fridge so I've done that and then I just wrapped sort of like a damp tea towel around it to keep them wet I don't know <laughs> we'll see if it works because they were yeah they were going soft really really quick like within a day so here we are excuse my dirty bench if you can see any dirt got my cream i'm still measuring it just so that i know exactly the calories and i'm not going over and that's my coffee for the day um, hopefully that will keep me going to about 10 or 11 and then I think today I'm gonna um, have my yogurt with some berries and muesli oh my god I've been dreaming about that I used to do it with like yogurt muesli a little bit of biscoff did I do fruit no I didn't do fruit and I think I just did the yogurt the muesli and a bit of biscoff oh my god so delicious we might do that actually um, all right, I changed my mind. I'm not having my yogurt. I've decided to have, uh, what do we call it? Fried mushrooms and fried egg on two pieces of my Helga toast. 
and let me just let you know how much that is as far as calories go for those that are following along so I already had my coffee with some cream first thing this morning and then now adding this I'm just counting that as my whole breakfast is a total of 606 calories so yeah still got about 1300 left for the rest of the day so hopefully this will keep me going for quite a while and I might have like a small portion of the yoga and muesli maybe later on about three o'clock or something like that if I'm if I'm hungry by then so yeah so looking forward to this Michael started going on about the mushrooms that I bought and then I'm like oh I just feel like some fried mushrooms on toast so yeah yummo gonna enjoy that and that also includes because I cooked the mushrooms in 15 grams of butter as well so that also includes like a butter portion which was about 100 calories alone but totally worth it <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy this now it is currently 11 o'clock and I'm going to keep working all right I'm on my lunch break it is raining outside after all that heat it is now raining and nice and cool Thank God, we've turned the aircon off, we've got all the doors and windows open and because it's raining I'm not going to go for my walk but I am going to clean the kitchen because it always gets neglected, <laughs> we always fall behind. So do you want to watch me clean the kitchen during my lunch break? I swear it'll be riveting. Can you even see? I don't even know. God, that bin stinks. The bin could do with emptying. I got my coriander plant in a little pot. I left it in its own pot for now because this one wasn't draining very well. And Jessie's informed me it's not supposed to sit like that. It's supposed to stand right up. So, I don't know. She said, she said the best thing to do, Jessie's like pretty much a plant expert now. She said the best thing to do is chop it all off and let it start again. But I think I'm just going to use it because we're doing San Choy Bao tonight. So I'm going to use it and, you know, take some of the heaviness off some of the leaves and maybe as I start using it, it'll start sprucing up again. Because it still looks pretty healthy. Like, it just, it just doesn't stand up. Um, I'm just picking out a few of the, the brown leaves. But yeah, so got a basil plant going and a coriander plant going now. So I'm turning into a little bit of a plant lady. <laughs> I'll sit that over there so it doesn't get damaged while I'm cleaning. I think the basil plant's going really nice. I've had that a few weeks now and I've been picking lots of it. So it seems to just be replenishing itself. I'm very proud of that. It is so dark today but I <laughs> got half the kitchen done and managed to wash all the dishes. I've only got half an hour for lunch so I didn't get a lot done but 
yeah, I at least I wanted to get these uh, burner things in the dish, dishwasher for a while now, so I'm glad I've got those cleaning. So yeah, just managed to get at least up to there, got a couple of things soaking, and then when I finish work, I can just put all that away because it all should hopefully have air dried by then. So back to work it is. No rest for the wicked. There's no rest for the wicked. I'm going to put the fan on in here though. The wicked is just resting. That's all I do. Well, that's Deef, isn't it? Oh, the Deef. Look at him. He's a lot happier now that it's cooler. And then when I finish work today, I just want to give this place a bit of a tidy up. It's just, you know, there's just bits and pieces everywhere that just makes it look untidy. Look at this dog though. All his, my section needs cleaning. His summer more, fur has gone shorter. More deep fluff getting blown everywhere by the fan. I know, he's going, he's getting another, he's another got molt going on. Blow him outside. Blow your dog, Mike. It needs to be done once a day. That's the least you could do is give your dog a blowjob once a day. Please stop. Please stop. Do that outside. Look at it. And what are you going to do with all that now? The fan will blow it. F-M-L. He doesn't like it. I think he does. I'm going back to work. <laughs> so here is my three o'clock snack. I have got the Greek yogurt, muesli, some chia seeds and Biscoff. I just followed the serving size recommended on the packet, mainly just so that when I add it to my cat, because I haven't added it to my calculator yet, so when I add it to my food log, um, I don't have to remember how much of everything I used. So yeah, I've just left everything, all the packets out on the counter. So when I go back in to scan all the barcodes, um, I know exactly what I've used. So yeah, I'm going to mix all this together now. So like I said, I've got, um, I think it was 15 grams of Biscoff there just to sweeten it up. Um, I'm going to mix it all together and enjoy that and hopefully it's yummy because this is a Greek yogurt so I've never really had it with a you know a bit more of a sour Greek yogurt before so well I have to tell you the uh, yogurt and muesli mix that I did uh, this afternoon was absolutely delicious absolutely loved it so yeah that's going to be a favorite I think um, now it's already 7.30 and I still have to make dinner. We're just going to be making San Choy Bao tonight. But what I think I might do is film that and put it in tomorrow's vlog. Only just because it's like, yeah, because it's already getting late. I've got to try and, I mean, it's 7.30 now. So I've basically got to finish editing off this vlog, upload it and all of that by about nine o'clock. So it's just cutting it a bit short. So I might add tonight's dinner to tomorrow's vlog yeah i'll finish today's vlog off here and you'll see what we have for dinner tomorrow night so yeah hope you enjoyed today's vlogmas it was a little bit of a quick one but you guys said you don't mind if they're short um so yeah it takes the pressure off me a little bit so uh hopefully tomorrow i'll have an unboxing i think i've got a couple of packages that arrived today so uh we'll pick those up and maybe do a bit of an unboxing tomorrow i'm not sure what it actually is whether it's a gift I'm pretty sure it might be a gift, but we'll see anyway. If it's something I can show you guys, I'll definitely share it with you. So, yeah, hope you're enjoying Vlogmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.